this is Rich Rosen, Fast Call founder and CEO, and I'm going to talk for a few minutes about Fast Call in the Salesforce App Exchange. So it is uh, February 2023. Uh, Fast Call version 8.0 is in the App Exchange. You might be watching this uh, video a little bit later. I always like to start my demos uh, in the App Exchange, which is where you uh, came to this uh, video. Um, get it now. We'll install our application um, in a sandbox, in production, or a dev org, and that's a great place to really test out the application. We really recommend that our Salesforce admins uh, install in a sandbox. A couple of the details that we like to point out in the application. Uh, we first released FastCall in 2013, as we see here. Um, as I mentioned, we've named this release 8.0 at 7.96. Uh, the official name uh, is 8.0. The last update was this month, February, and we think that is really one of our uh, number one differentiators. We've been in the App Exchange a little bit over 10 years. We've released uh, over a thousand updates to our application. This application is uh, mature, market ready, robust, um, and still in very active development. And that's, we think, really important. Um, you also see that Salesforce, when you come down here, will show you custom objects. Uh, when you're comparing applications in Salesforce, custom objects is a really easy way to compare uh, one application against the other. So uh, I'll often say that 43 objects may not be ver terribly different than 42, but it is very different than zero or one. So if you're looking at an application and you see zero objects or one, it gives you an idea that really nothing is installed in Salesforce, or very little is installed in Salesforce. Our application is native. You see that here, the native badge. And again, our primary differentiators are the application is native. It is 100% installed in Salesforce. It is an active development. It is a mature, robust, market-ready application. We think that in this category, you're looking for an application that is both a really good phone and does everything that your phone should do and is also really good in Salesforce. And for us, that native status um, is not just an architectural advantage, which we think that it is, and an advantage in security. Uh, it's also an advantage in focus because we're only developing in Salesforce. We're not supporting uh, any other CRMs. I like to say that we have lots of information on our website, fastcall.com, including pricing. So it is important that you review our pricing, uh, where we also list out our capabilities here and our plans. You definitely want to make sure you, you check out our pricing page. Um, and before I jump into a quick demo, I want to mention we have this really fantastic uh, sheet that we're happy to share with you where we list out um, answers to questions that we think our admins should be asking. Um, and we put the questions here, the answers here. It's really just meant to be a guide. You fill this out on your own. Uh, but we list out in detail all of our capabilities in some cases where they're upgrades. So, so send us an email. Um, ask us for the, uh, we, could, we just call this a, a requirement stock, and we will send this back. And it's a great place to list out all the other applications that you might be reviewing to use them to compare uh, against one another. All right, so in Salesforce, we are uh, looking at what we, what we say is our fast call control panel, which is really awesome. Our control panel is where we are um, looking at calls in real time. I'm able to see all my active calls, calls on hold, missed calls, um, and you know some of the things that we're able to do here, which we really think differentiates fast call. Here's an example, missed calls. Um, we're able to create a workspace for our missed calls. When you would reply to a missed call in fast call, we capture a reply call record. So you'll see a list of your, so here is an example of a call record, which is a custom object for calls. Um, on our call record, you'll see um, data that you might not, and in this case, um, the call is recorded, and this um, and this was an inbound call, so this actually happens to be a voicemail because there's only one side of this call. If this was a recorded call, there'd be two sides 
to this call, but you'll see that on our call record, we're capturing uh, the phone numbers that were used, the date, time, and duration, of course. I mentioned the call is recorded, but you'll see things here like reply call. So in our application, calls are related not only to Salesforce records, the leads, the contacts, the opportunities, the calls are also related to each other. So a missed call has a replied call. We're also capturing things such as planned calls. So that after a call is made, you can schedule a subsequent planned call, so a cadence. So call one, call two, call three, call four, call five, um, and all that can be started uh, both in our control panel or on any Salesforce record. Uh, so our control panel is our workspace. It is where we are seeing calls in real time. So if I come in here, um, our application is designed in Lightning Design System. It looks like Salesforce. It feels like Salesforce. It's easy to use. I make a call. Call starts. You'll see here. In the control panel, we're capturing call data in real time. If I wanted to listen to an active call, I can do that here. Um, I am going to, and you'll see when I end the call, call ahead. So we're, we're giving you real time information on the call, which we're able to do again as a native application because there's no part of the application that's happening outside of Salesforce. We're not updating Salesforce for, from some external system. The application is entirely in Salesforce. So I can set my call result here. I close the task. Um, I've been working in this control panel, but of course I can make a call from any Salesforce record with a phone number, including custom objects. Um, and same thing is true for SMS. I can, uh, you're gonna see that in the application we have calls and SMS that are threaded together. So I can call this record, I can SMS this record and easily move between phone and SMS mode. For SMS, we support merge, automation, templates. Uh, for calls, we support dial by list and voicemail drop. All the robust features that you expect from an application that is dedicated to Salesforce that has been in the Salesforce app exchange for 10 years. You expect it to be a very good phone and you expect it to be very good in Salesforce. Uh, and that's what you're gonna have with uh, FastCall. This is an optional lightning component that you add to the page layout that gives you a complete threaded view, again, of the conversation. Here, the threaded view is related to the Salesforce record, and here, the application for the user is related to the user. So the user is going to see, for example, a list of her recent calls and recent SMS here in the application, and then when I am on the record, I'm going to see a threaded conversation that's related to the record. This lightning component is optional. Um, if you want to have it on your page layout, these are Salesforce tasks, which we are creating for a call. That's also optional. You do have the option to not create a Salesforce task. Um, and then we have the more traditional Salesforce related list for calls and SMS. So hopefully this demo was helpful. We started in the app exchange. We went to fastcall.com. I mentioned we have a really great requirements outline, which we'll send to you if you're interested. Um, and then we did a quick demo of FastCall in the App Exchange. We talked about Lightning Design System. The application is easy to install, easy to test, easy to set up, easy to manage. Generally speaking, most native applications are because they are dedicated to Salesforce. So please send us an email if you have any uh, questions, and we'll be happy to help you uh, get set up in your sandbox for a test.